Just look at all of those skyscrapers. I am in Johor Bahru, a city located at the southern end of peninsular Malaysia. It's a major economic center for Malaysia. Connecting the two nations is the Johor-Singapore Causeway. And the Singapore-bound lanes are always heavily congested. The bridge spans the Straits of Johor, and on the other side is Singapore. Looks so close. Johor Bahru appears to be a city of early risers. It's a little past 6 a.m. and already there are so many people on their way to work. Look at all the modern looking buildings. This must be the city center. Wow, the road takes us right between these buildings and that's the bus terminal up ahead. Well, I have arrived. I'm so excited to explore this city. Guess I'll start walking. Are all these people walking to work from the bus terminal? Hello, excuse me. Good morning. Are you on your way to work? Oh, so they pay well in Singapore? Three times as much. But it seems that you have a very early commute. What? You have a three-hour commute? Wow, really? Well, have a good day. Okay, terima kasih. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. She gets paid three times as much in Singapore, but it's a three-hour commute both ways. Hmm. Bye. I wonder if this will take me to the street. Ooh, I wonder what they're selling here. Hmm, some kind of cafeteria? Everyone's eating. I wonder what those triangular things are. Oh, do you work here? Excuse me, what are those triangular things? Would you show me what they look like? Thank you. Oh, it's cooked rice with what looks like a spicy sauce. Is a spicy breakfast standard here? Uh-huh. Oh, good morning. Ah, you're having nashi luma. Do you have a minute? Morning. Are you all on your way to work? After work, have a minute after work. Really? So you work all night? May I ask where? Yeah, Singapore. You have jobs in Singapore too. What kind of work? Customer service. Yeah, I think that's yeah. So you're heading home to get some sleep and then you leave for work again tonight? Okay, our work starts at 7. So most probably you'll be traveling here 4.30. Well, good luck to you. Okay, thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Oh, thanks to you too, sir.
Okay, now let me check my map. The bus terminal is right here. The causeway to Singapore is very close. Okay, I'm now ready to begin my tour of the city. The sunlight is so strong. So glad that the weather is so beautiful. Oh, this looks like an outdoor food court. People are eating breakfast here too. Good morning. I wonder if they're working here. There are so many. Hello. He's making something. Good morning. Morning. What are those things that look like pancakes called? Roti chennai. What? Roti chennai. Roti chennai? Wow, you're really good at that. Is Roti Chennai Malaysian food? India. Indian? Oh. India. India. He's spreading the dough really, really thin. And he just broke an egg on it. He wraps the egg up in the dough and then grills it. Oh, that looks delicious. I'm sure it tastes best right off the grill. A lot? About how many? Your Indian breakfast seems to be quite popular. Are there a lot of people from India living here? Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for your time. These people also look like they're from India. Good morning. What does my guidebook say? Malaysia is a multiracial nation. The largest group is Malay, and the Islam religion is predominant. Other groups are Chinese and Indian. These ethnic groups make up a harmonious society while retaining their distinct languages, religions, and cultures. So, that's how it works here. Oh, here's another food court. Let me see. Those are Chinese characters, so they must be selling Chinese food here. Good morning. There's so much delicious looking food. those women are eating. Looks like ramen noodles and looks good. These people look like they're from India. The man is chopping meat right on the street. And the woman sitting there appears to be Malay. I see. The three ethnic groups begin their day with their own style of breakfast. And now I'm on the street. And those trees are great. Those women are wearing scarves. A group of friends, maybe? Excuse me. Hi. What are four beautiful women doing here together? <laughs> Are you all friends? Oh, I see. I love the scarves you're all wearing. So, dalam Islam, kita kita Muslim, so we have to cover cover our hair, our neck, and we we can only show hands and feet. Yeah. Are there strict rules about how you wear them? Setiap scarf ni ada fashion dia tersendiri lah. Ikut mana fashion yang style yang kita nak buat. 
uh, hari-hari dia ada style ni, ada lain punya style. So, do you each wear your scarves differently? Okay, kalau macam ni, uh, jenis tudung ni jenis tudung bawal. Uh, so, uh, kita ikut belit je. Lilit je ikut keselesaan sendiri. Yeah. It looks great. What about you? Ni sebab simple, senang. You just pin satu and bawa lagi belakang. Senang, selesa. Uh-huh. Yang ni... <laughs> and this shawl. <laughs> this is shawl. This is bawal. So, oh. yang yang this one is rectangular. Rectangular size lah. So, dia boleh lagi banyak fashion. Oh. Boleh letak sini, letak sini. Ha. I see. And this one is the same with this one, bawal. Yeah. Fashionable Malay women seem to be very particular about their scarves. Yes. Of course. Of course. Does that mean you own a lot of them? Oh, banyak. <laughs> banyak. Banyak. Tak terkira. Banyak. Sangat banyak. I thought so. Thanks for your time. All right. Bye. 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 Have a good day. <laughs> so scarves are also fashion items for the Malay women here. It's now 11 a.m. Another look at the map. I arrived on an early morning bus, then strolled past food courts serving Malay, Indian, and Chinese food. And now I'm walking through a large park here. Are those people dancing? I think I'll go and see what's happening. Wow, those moves are really interesting. Quite unusual. I wonder what kind of dancing that is. The dancers look young. And they're finished. Bravo! Um, do you have a minute? Bully. Hello. That dance was fabulous. What is it called? Saya tengah menari tarian zapi untuk sembahan di hotel. It's called zapin. Zapin ni adalah tarian kebudayaan negeri Johor. Uh huh. Kebiasaan kepada pelancongan, keramaian, perkawinan dan kerajaan dan sebagainya lah kita tarikan untuk tarian ni. So, it's a dance for festive occasions. The movements are very unique. Ah, dah ada dah pada zaman dahulu lagi. Daripada zaman uh, Arab, turun ke negeri Johor. Ah, jadi yang kita ni yang tarikan tarian ni. Its origins are Arab? <laughs> Do you always dance with these dancers? <laughs> you all look so young, but you're all professionals, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Betul. Semua orang suka tengok orang gembira kan. So kita pun bersama-sama bagi orang gembira lah. Lagi-lagi macam kita orang yang menari. Kalau kita menari kan satu tarian tu kalau dua orang macam mm, macam tak best kita macam dawa. Tapi kalau kita menari orang tu suka kita lagi suka. Lagi 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 semangat. I see. So zapin is a dance that brings smiles to people. <laughs> but you all had great smiles when you were dancing. <laughs> Thanks for your time. They'll be performing at a hotel this evening. I hope their dancing brings smiles to the audience. Good luck. I'm on a street packed with cars. This looks like a car wash. I guess they're all waiting their turn. And there are more cars waiting at the curb. The 
line just keeps on going. Ah, another car wash. What kind of place is this? Maybe an auto repair shop? There are so many automobile-related businesses here. Excuse me. Do you have a minute? Is this an auto repair shop? Car accessories, I see. So car lovers hang around here? They come all the way from Singapore to wash their cars and buy accessories? Really? I wonder if this customer is from Singapore. Would you talk with me for a moment? Yes, I can. Why do you come here for car service? Most probably it will be at least about 50% cheaper than what we are having in Singapore. It's that much cheaper here? Definitely. Half price? No wonder Singaporeans bring their cars here. Sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Ah, an S on the license plate. So that car is from Singapore. Oh, next door is another car wash. That white car has an S license plate. This car too. So does this one. And next door is a massage center. Uh-huh. They come here to have both their cars and bodies refreshed. This makes sense because Singapore is so close. like elementary school kids, maybe on their way home from school. Wow, look at all the kids. Hello. <laughs> They're all so energetic. What are you all doing here? I see. What grade are you in? And what did you study in school today? Oh, that's nice. You're finished with exams? Tell me, which one of you is the best student? <laughs> it's him? Did you do well in your exams? Ah, uh, okay. How many subjects were there? Um, the M, the I, um, the we, mathematics, science, English. Uh huh. And how were your scores? Um, at the mathematics, 95. Uh, kalau BM, 72, sama lah. Jam perisian dengan pemaman. Hmm, 
Is that good or not? I'm sure the exams were difficult. Study hard. <laughs> Johor Bahadur's children seem to be very well brought up. sound. Drums, maybe? It seems to be coming from in there. Is it a festival of some sort? They're all in traditional wear. Ah, these boys are beating on drums. This woman must be a security guard. Excuse me, but may I ask what's happening here? A wedding. May I take a peek? Really? Then I'd like to do that. I wonder which one is the bride. Ah, that woman in the pink scarf must be the bride. Ah, I can't see her face. Um, may I ask you a question? <laughs> Whose wedding is this? <laughs> so you're a relative of the bride. Congratulations. Oh, I see. Is the bride inside there? Thank you. I guess I'll go in. Isn't this the aisle the bride is going to walk down? Is it all right for me to walk on it? Look at all the guests. Hi there. Ah, there she is, the bride. She's so beautiful. And the bridegroom is good looking also. They seem to be happy. Congratulations. You look so beautiful in that fabulous dress. What made you decide to marry this man? <laughs> He's your star? And how does the star envision married life? Harapannya kami menjadi zuriat yang soleh dan soleha. Bekalan perkahwinan kami susah dan senang bersama hingga ke hari ayat. Harapannya mesti dah nak setia sehingga di hari ayat. Kalau boleh nak satu ni sampai selama-lamanya je. Well, I wish you both all the best for a happy life with a wonderful family. I'm a bit envious. Oh, jadi lah, Sam. Tak boleh, Sam. Dia dah berpunya. Of course. He's all yours. Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak-banyak, Sudi. Ya, saya. Wishing you all the best. Ah, the picture-taking with guests has begun. A good time for me to leave. Their happiness is contagious. I'm sure they're headed for married bliss and a great life. Hello, everyone.
everyone, and welcome to Johor Bahru. I am Effendi. I was born here. I am going to introduce you to some of our specialty dishes. The first item is a popular dish served here. In third place is Ota Ota. It's minced fish or shrimp meat seasoned with hot spices, wrapped in coconut leaves and char-grilled. It's perfect for that time when you crave a little snack between meals. Mmm, the coconut aroma is so appetizing. Oh, this sensation of coconut leaves gently embracing the meat reminds me of my wife. Oh. Darling, I'll gently embrace you anytime, darling. I know that, of course. My next favorite is a dish offered at this restaurant. So, in second place is Buriyani. Buriyani is rice topped with Malaysian-style curry. The rice is cooked together with various spices. The uniquely seasoned rice is eaten with your choice of curry with chicken or beef. The rice and curry make a perfect blend. Yes, just like me and my wife. Oh, oh darling, you're making me blush. You ask why that was a different wife from before? It's quite all right. Polygamy is allowed for Muslims in Malaysia, although it is not as prevalent as it used to be. Last is an exquisite dish from this restaurant that's addictive. In first place is mi ribus, a spicy noodle dish. Deep-fried shrimp crumbs are generously sprinkled over the noodles, like this. The key to the great taste is the spicy soup. Whenever I eat mirabus, I'm reminded of the day I proposed to my wife. When you asked me to be your third wife, I mulled over it. But you promised me that you love me just as much as your other wives. Right, darling? Oh, that's right. Our religion allows us to have up to four wives, but there's a law that we must treat all our wives equally. Equal treatment is very important in economic terms as well as in time spent together. Breaking this condition can get you into a lawsuit. Oh. Huh? Darling, you are treating us with equal care, aren't you? I hope that you know that we three wives talk with each other and exchange information. Darling, we always know what you're doing, so don't you dare lie to us! Huh? Is that how things are? You see, maintaining equal treatment is a lot more troublesome than you might imagine. How about the four of us having a nice, friendly family meal together? The time is now 4 p.m. Hello. Okay, okay. Time to check the map. I met a young group practicing the traditional Zapin dance, then went by an area lined with car wash stands and auto service shops, crashed a wedding, and now I'm here. This looks like a residential area. The houses here are all quite large. Oh no, look at that smoke. Huh, what? Is that house over there on fire? Oh no, this house is on fire. What should I do? There's so much smoke. Oh, 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 no! Oh! Oh, there's someone there. Excuse me, you're in danger. Are you all right? Have you already called for a fire truck? Oh, 
Huh? So this isn't a fire? Bukan, bukan. Ini untuk uh, semburan nyamuk Aedes. Yeah. Uh. Oh, this smoke is pesticide? Di rumah saya, saya yang panggil diorang untuk uh, buat fogging. Oh, now I understand. But this sure is a lot of pesticide. Is it all right to spray that much? Huh? There's someone there. Oh, he's the one spraying the pesticide. With all this smoke, don't other people mistake it for a fire? Uh, so far, tak ada. Nah, sebab orang kat sini tahu. Nah, orang sini tahu. Nah. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad it wasn't a fire. Excuse me for making such a fuss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah. I acted kind of silly, I suppose. But all that smoke. Mosquitoes are quite a problem here, so they have to be eliminated. Catching dengue fever is serious, so... The sun is going down. Good evening. Are they out to relax in the cool evening breeze? What's going on here? Good evening. Are you all out here to cool down? Do you work around here? All of you work in Singapore? What kind of work do you do? Cleaner. Cleaner, cleaner. Are you all natives of Johor Bahru? Do you? I see. So, can you earn a lot of money working in Singapore? You're all working to support your families? That's very commendable of you. Do you all live together? Where do you live? Oh, here. May I peek inside? Oh, I don't mind. Excuse me. Ah, room just for sleeping. I guess this is how life is if you're sending all your earnings home to your family. So what plans do you have for your future? I bet you get homesick a lot. <laughs> of course. You have to work again tomorrow, right? Please take care of yourselves. I hope you'll earn enough money to get married soon. <laughs> See you. This city is full of hard-working people. Wow, what a beautiful sunset. It's already 7 p.m. I hear a voice. It's coming from that tower. It's a call for prayer. That must be a mosque. I'm going to check it out.
Lots of people coming in. I guess the prayers are about to begin. This must be the prayer hall. Just want to check my guidebook. Muslims pray five times each day at scheduled times. The men and women are in separate rooms and pray in the direction of Mecca, the holy site of Islam. I see, this must be the men's prayer hall. They seem to be finished with their prayers. Excuse me, sir. May I talk to you for a minute? Do you come to the mosque every day to pray? <laughs> Would you mind if I ask what you pray for? So your faith is very important to you. Thank you. Are you going home now? That's quite a busy routine. Thank you for your time. Bye. It's quite dark now. It's time for dinner, I bet. Which reminds me, I'm getting hungry. And now it's time for a refreshing side trip. I'm off to visit a tourist destination that's not too far from Johor Bahru. Hello. I hope this is the right bus. My destination is Kukup, a floating community about an hour and a half away by bus. I hear people actually build houses over the ocean and live there. Could that be true? Well, here I am. Which way is the floating town? Ah, there's a signboard. It says, welcome to Kukup. So this must be the right way. Hmm, it sure doesn't look like it's floating on the ocean. It looks just like an ordinary town. How is this a floating town? Ah, here's water. Huh? Is this the ocean? Aha! These houses are built on the water. I get it now. All the roads and houses are built on the water. I wonder why people choose to live like this. I bet those people live here. Hello. This house is built over the ocean, right? Yeah, but the but so it's sturdy. But why do you choose to live over the ocean? 
Dulu, dulu, dulu ada tangkap ikan belaya, ha, tapi semua. dia pun boleh sampai rumah kita. Senang sikit kalau nak ikan apa, senang sikit. Ini macam ni. So, you're a fisherman. How long have you lived here on the ocean? Sudah selatu lima puluh tahun. <laughs> That long? Sudah selatu lima puluh tahun. Saya meyato sampai sekarang. Huh? Your grandfather? Lagi latang Taiwan. Taiwan latang sini. So, why did he leave Taiwan to live here on the ocean? Lulu Chinese macam Taiwan, kalau sana ada tak tahu apa lah. Saya kita pun tak tahu. Saya dia tahu dia latang sini, dia lulu tepi sini. Dia masuk laut latang. Ha, so you don't know the reason. Uh, may I take a look inside your house? Boleh, boleh, latang tengok. Ha, ha. boleh, boleh, tengok. Thank you. Excuse me. I wonder if I can see the ocean through the floor. Wow, what a large room. It's so spacious. This must be when the houses were all wooden. It's amazing how they built a town right on top of the ocean. But enough about the past. Today, they have schools, temples, supermarkets, and all other living essentials built right on top of the ocean. That's incredible. Huh. What's going on here? Ah, they're playing mahjong. Hello. Of course, they're originally from Taiwan. This tour boat lets you view the town from the water. Currently, there are 500 households, 1,800 people living in this town, and many of them are in the fish breeding business. Huh? This must be a fish farm. I wonder if I can take a tour. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh. This fish farm just floats on the water. Ah, yeah. Tempat. Kami panggil sangka. Sangka ikan. Whoa, whoa. Don't go so fast. I could trip up and fall. Wow. They're so energetic. And they're all pretty big. Ikan bawa emas. Bawa emas. Hmm. Asam. That sounds delicious. There are other types of fish being bred here too. Jump, ikut saya. Hmm? Where is he taking me? Look at that. Food ready and waiting. Oh, so this is a restaurant. Everything looks really tasty. This is Pompano. And here's a whole fish deep fried. And this is crab. Seeing all this makes me hungry. Can I buy a cash or a credit card? Uh, I'll pay cash. Huh? Is that how this works? Okay. Cinema can. Oh, he's gone. So I'm supposed to eat all this by myself? That's impossible. No way! It's now 9 p.m. The shops here stay open late. Oh, there are more stores down this way. And so many people. What's up ahead? It looks like a market. Good evening. 
The ocean is closed, so there are so many different varieties of fish. It's really crowded, even at this late hour. Good evening. How's business? Alhamdulillah, bye. Even though it's late, the place is crowded. Is that right? I see. That's right. Many people living here spend hours commuting to and from Singapore. So they only have time with their families in the evening. Oh, good evening. Are you out shopping with your family? Hi. You have your little one with you. Uh, Seven uh, he's so cute. Do you always do your shopping about this time? So you work in Singapore too? You used to, so not anymore. Yes, time with family is important. Thank you for talking with me. Have a good evening. Bye, sweetie. I can totally understand his decision. Look, there are chairs out on the street. It looks so festive. A street performance this late in the evening? The nights are long in Johor Bahru. And what's over here? Street vendors. A lot of families are here too. <laughs> Wow, I really walked a lot today. And I've met so many people with smiles on their faces. The people of Johor Bahru are so positive and cheerful. They all seem to believe that their future is bright.